Back on Sports 225 and kind of a mishmash of a show, but with a great surprise. Jeff Marks was supposed to be here, and he was. He showed up, but he brought with him Gert Hamick, who, the former LSU basketball player, he's from Holland. I'll never forget, I came and saw you play your first year. Well, I came and saw you hang around in, with the Magic. I mean, you were hurt. Shaq was playing, yep. and we, we came down, we caught a game, we caught dinner. And then I had—I don't know that I had seen you before between then and then the reunion. I don't think we had. No, I mean, we'd I'll, always I'll kept in touch with an occasional phone call, little email. Now with Facebook, it's it's easier. Yeah, um, yeah I was I was I was hurt. Uh, I mean, after playing behind Shaq three years here, and then my senior year, where I did reasonably well, um, I wound up behind Shaq again. And Led the league in rebounding in 1993. Led the SEC in rebounding. That's I right. Think it's, and um, and. Uh, you know, wound up behind Shaq again. Now, I'm not saying if I was healthy, or would have been healthy that year at the Magic, I would have played a whole lot or knocked Shaq out of his position there and, I think and his, took minutes from him. His career could have been in jeopardy at that point. Uh, possibly, mm -hmm. yeah, but luckily I was hurt and uh, I was not much of a challenge to take minutes away from him. And uh, it was just a, a somewhat of a knee problem that uh, that was, you know, taken care of the summer after that. and. That was taken care of in, in, in Holland. I was home that summer and I called the Magic and said, look, I'm healthy, I'm ready to go. And they were like, sure, sure, sure. So I got back and they had uh, six more big guys signed at that time. And they sent you to, uh, or how did you end up in Golden State? Well, they, they uh, around Christmas, as a, as a present, they, uh, they let me know that I was cut, and <laughs> <laughs> or at least. No, I mean, I, I understand the business part of it. Um, yeah, all too well. <clears throat> yeah, they told me in a, in a nice way. So. Uh, I, uh, I wound up in the, back then, you know, the CBA was the, uh, the MBDL like, like it is now. So I wound up in the CBA in, uh, in Omaha, Nebraska, very warm period of time. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, after uh, two months, the Golden, Wade, uh, Golden State Warriors picked me up on a 10-day, then another 10-day, and then an end of season contract. Well, like we said in the previous segment, then he had a, a long career in Europe. Um, how many total years? Uh, how many total? I, th I think uh, nine. Nine. I think nine. Yeah. yeah, three, three in, uh, three in Greece, uh, Italy, uh, Spain, five years in Germany. Now the last few years, you not only coach your kids and coach them age group basketball, but you're also a player agent. Um, yes, I mean. Is that uh, the what best way to describe it? Right, right. Yeah, right. right. Well, well, to, to, to couple back to the to the thing you skipped real quickly. I mean, Holland is not a huge basketball country, so I felt obligated to 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 help my kids out a little bit and coach their teams, and uh, did okay. Uh, then they went to that CBA academy, and uh, parallel to that, or next to that, from the minute I retired playing basketball, um, I uh, stepped into uh, the courtside basketball agency. Uh, which represented me the entire time. Um, mm -hmm. I never switched agents from the minute I left college to the minute I retired. I was with Courtside. An opening uh, became available. As a matter of fact, my <coughs> personal ag agent within the agency passed away the summer uh, before uh, before my last year, and I took the opportunity to uh, to uh, to get involved with that. Um, uh, also, because the last two years I played in Germany, I was away from uh, my wife and uh, and the kids. They were in Holland because they had to learn the Dutch language. I played in Germany and it was difficult. So a lot of things added up for me to hang up the shoes and get in uh, behind the desk. Very good. Well, it's on my radar to go to Germany and hang out with him for a games, season, right? see some games and uh, freeze my butt off in Europe in the middle of winter. And if it's not this February, it's going to be next basketball season, I promise. But I will, you know, keep you to that promise. I hope so. Um, you never know what's going to happen on Sports 225, and tonight, Gert Homick showed up. I appreciate it. It's always great to see you. I look forward to us being able to catch up a little bit more. Um, Thanks for you having have me. no idea what a cheap thrill this is for me, and an expensive thrill, too. <laughs> um, there you go. Cheap thrill is just like an old phrase. Um, uh, when we get back, Ben Love from Fox Sports Next on Sports 225.